Lab19 wants to know which of these user exists on the Matilda Linux server. It's pretty specific though. It wants us to use file inclusion and it also has to be on the Etsy password page. And the type of file inclusion is local file inclusion. If we go over to the text file viewer page in Matilda Day, it has this vulnerability. And this page is a nod back to Matilda Day 1 was carried over. If we take a look at the page, we're supposed to pick a value out of the drop down list and then click on view the file, in which case it'll go pull the file down and display it. But there is a vulnerability in this page that it doesn't actually authorize or have any access control to check if the user is supposed to be pulling up the page that they selected. The assumption is, is the user's just gonna pick something from the dropdown box. If we inspect element on that dropdown, it'll have options, of course, and we can change those. So if we change this to Etsy password, like the lab asked, that'll become the value for option one and that's what's gonna get submitted to the server. And the server still has an opportunity to verify that we should be pulling back the page we selected, but because the application is vulnerable, it doesn't do that. So now we'll go ahead and we'll click on view file again. And instead of pulling back the page it's supposed to, it ends up pulling back Etsy password. And by the way, we see the very first user in the file is root. We go back over here and select root, click submit, and that is the correct answer.